question ko unshare mo so guys this is our abian ben question of the week what are the characteristic of a good leader abian mag subscribe ka na 10 characteristics of a good leader number one a good leader must be assertive according to a dictionary the word assertive means having or showing a confident and forceful personality this type of leadership involves collaboration with people at all levels of the organization for example when trying to find a solution to an issue within the department, an assertive leader may reach out to their team to ask for their feedback. They can then make a confident decision about how to move forward. Number two, a good leader must be resourceful. Based on our source, the word resourceful means having the ability to find a quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. Think of a resourceful people as full of resources or tools for coming up with solutions. They adapt well to new or difficult situations and they are able to think creatively. For example, Abian Ben, together with some of his subscribers, went into an overnight camp. After a long day hike, they reached the campsite. But when Abian Ben and his subscribers want to make fire to cook their food for lunch, nobody bring any lighter or matches. All of them are hungry and then Abian Ben finds some dried bamboo cuttings and rub it until it produces fire. Then they cook their food and did eat their lunch. Abian Ben in that situation shows resourcefulness. Number three, a good leader must be supportive. When we say supportive, it means providing encouragement or emotional help. Supportive leadership is a leadership style where a manager or leader does not simply delegate tasks and receive results but instead supports an employee until the task completion. A major upside to supportive leadership is that the leader will work with the employee or team until he or she is empowered and skilled enough to handle tasks with minimal supervision in the future. If you're approachable and empathetic, then you are probably a supportive leader. You show concern for employees and you treat them with dignity. And respect your employees or your team in turn felt valued and cared for in times of change they trust you to help them manage uncertainty number four a good leader must be cheerful cheerfulness is the most important leadership quality being cheerful means noticeably happy and optimistic. This is also mean, joyful, lively, enjoyable, and glad. Being cheerful is a choice. It has long been understood to influence happiness at work and therefore productivity. The cheerful leader broadcasts confidence, and capability. Number five, a good leader must be courageous. 
A courageous leader is an individual who is capable of making themselves better and stronger when the stakes are high and circumstances turn against that person. Most of our lives were beset by crisis. Courageous leaders are not cowed or intimidated. They realize that in the midst of turbulence, there lies an extraordinary opportunity to grow and rise. Courageous leaders are able to create a culture of trust and respect which makes those around them be prepared to follow them. This all creates a recipe of success, development, and evolution within an organization. Number six, a good leader must be honest. Honesty is the foundation of the relationships that we have to build both with others on our team and with people outside the company. Honesty is how we build trust, and trust is necessity if we hope to work successfully with others. Within a team, people need to trust that the information they receive from others is accurate in order to do their jobs correctly. And that others are doing what is expected of them in order to complete the work. So, as long as your team is honest with each other in their dealings, they will able to work together and help one another achieve what you have set out for them. As a leader, you also have to hold yourself to those same standards of honesty with your team. It might seem to be a pretty obvious requirement of the job. Honesty in this instance is more than just accurate and truthful information that you are disseminating. As a leader, you have to demonstrate that you hold yourself to account as you do those under you. And that means owning up to your own mistake in full view of your team. As much as dishonesty, people hate hypocrisy. And nothing appears more hypocritical than brushing aside your own mistakes or acting like they did not exist. By demonstrating that mistakes are fine, so long as we own up to them, correct them, and learn from them, we can encourage others to not try to hide their own mistakes. Number 7. A good leader must be altruistic. Altruistic leadership is defined as the guiding of others with the goal of improving their well-being or emotional state. Altruistic leadership refers to leaders showing selfless concern towards the welfare of their subordinates. Number 8. A good leader must be eager. This leader did not waste the time idling. He or she is wanting to do something. When a person is eager, he or she is willing, zealous, enthusiastic, persistent, and active. Number 9. A good leader must be cooperative. According to a dictionary, cooperative means involving mutual assistant in working toward a common goal. Cooperative leader is helpful and undivided. A cooperative leader sees himself as a facilitator of a common goal and seeks to share both the responsibilities and the rewards. Effective delegation of tasks and vision can spread the workload effectively and lead to efficient accomplishment of the goal. 
and as a leader who practices a cooperative leadership method, you are not solely responsible for operational procedures and processes. Together with your team, you decide who is responsible for which projects and how many people are dedicated to a particular task. If there are absences due to illness or organizational reasons, time limits can still be met so that deadlines do not have to be postponed. However, the cooperative leadership method can only work if every employee in your team takes on a share of the responsibility and actively participates in making the daily work routine run as smoothly as possible. Number 10, which is the last characteristic of a good leader. A good leader must be persuasive. Employees are treated as the most valuable resource of the company. This leadership style also includes participative, collaborative, delegative, and licious fair styles. The term persuasive is more indicative of how this leadership style is performed. By persuading other team members and allowing other team members to persuade the leader, the participative, the collaborative, the legative, and licious fair styles are all slightly different, but persuasion is at the root of all of them. Since there is always more than one person that needs to agree on the final solution. The basic premise of persuasive leadership is that all opinions are heard, fully vetted, and a decision is made that is satisfactory to all or most participants. So that's all our 10 characteristics of a good leader.